But I'm wondering if the step counter accuracy on the G-Shock GBA 950 is actually any good. Uh, so yep, this watch can actually indeed record your steps and considering the insanely long battery life on this watch, I think the step counter is actually fairly decent. So you see, if I toggle this, you can see for example the steps, so I have just reset this watch. Uh, when it comes to steps for the previous days, unfortunately, I, I haven't found a way how we can check that, so it appears we probably can't see the step count history on the watch uh, itself for the past days. But we can check it basically in the phone app, so you can see for the past days, you can see the step count history, and also the hours, also calories, and stuff like that. So when it comes to step, uh, step counter accuracy, so I have also compared this to my other watches. Uh, so I have a Samsung Galaxy watch and also Apple watch uh, here. So out of all smartwatches, including maybe like Garmin and Fitbit and Xiaomi watch, I think Samsung usually has the best step counter accuracy out of all watches I have tested. So basically I wore this uh, Samsung Galaxy watch and this watch on the same wrist. Uh, basically for some time and simply compare the steps. So when it comes to the accuracy, uh, when you are simply wearing these watches and taking a very long walk, which is usually very, very uh, like, uh, very easy for any watch to track, so a long walk is very easy to track. So I recorded basically that this uh, watch overcounts by roughly 5%. So also I manually verified, so I simply counted out steps, basically how, how much I'm taking. Again, so it overcounted by roughly 4 to 5%. This. So that's actually very decent result. So I'm not complaining at all, especially considering the very kind of low end technology inside this watch. So again, this watch, for example, can literally only last like maximum two days, while this one almost two years. So again, the algorithm, also the processor, and everything else that can basically get rid of the false steps and count everything uh, accurately. Obviously, it simply isn't as good as in this one because it really has to save power, so it's simply like that due to the battery limitations, essentially. However, when it comes to like mixed long walking, uh, essentially when you actually simply wear the watch during the day, do some kind of activity, simply walk around the house, actually find this over counts by roughly 20%. So, but that also is if you also go outside and also take some long walks, so again, like a mixed walking, just like regular usage for a regular person, I think. Uh, so when I compared both of these, so Samsung Galaxy watch again in this mix set is usually one of the best from any smartwatch I have tested. So basically in this test again, so by around 20% more this hour counted. Uh, essentially if you uh, if you see that you have taken 10,000 steps on this watch, in reality that would mean you have only taken 8,000 steps. So by uh, at the end of the day essentially. So maybe if you want to reach 10,000 steps, maybe you simply walk like, let's say like 12,000 steps and then you'll be sure you have actually walked 10,000 steps. So yeah, like 20% inaccuracy uh, for this technology, I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, however, if you, for example, were to use this watch maybe only indoors, so if you do not go outside much, you do not walk anywhere much, simply like walking around the house doing some household chores, I find the inaccuracy obviously grows. So when you actually wear this watch and simply like move around the arm, it obviously tracks even movements like these as a step. So yeah, it is what it is. In that case, I think the inaccuracy might be as much as 30%. So yeah, something like that. Maybe again, in some uh, conditions, maybe if you're like literally wearing this watch and brushing your teeth. So again, this might also like throw up some random uh, extra steps, even if you aren't walking anywhere. So it is what it is. So it's simply a lower end technology inside this watch to save the battery, I guess. Uh, so, and should you get this watch for step counter needs? Well, yep, uh, I think you can definitely get this sold like 20%. I do not think that's good, that's bad, I mean. So yeah, uh, it would be actually worse if this watch actually undercounted. For example, Garmin watches, they actually like to undercount like absolutely crazy. So it, they are not very reliable and you can't really judge how active you have been uh, during the day if you, for example, wear a Garmin watch. But if you wear this watch, it can even like give you like better representation of how active you are during the day than for example, even like the Apple watch or Samsung. So again, since you are doing something again so it's you, you are obviously active when you are doing something so even though this overcounts a bit i think it might even give you a better representation of how active you are uh, during the day when you compare like like long term like uh, 
yeah so those step count numbers so yeah definitely for step counter uh, i think it's actually very very usable and like two years battery life to get all these features yeah absolutely amazing good luck